Hello and welcome to 40 Days of Habit with me, Grace Marshall. It is day 17 today. It is our weekly review. Um, it is not quite as cold and snowy as it was last week here in Stafford, but it's still quite cold. So um, I'm trying to warm up at the moment. Um, I would love to hear from you. So how are things going for you? What have you been up to? How's the last week been? So today, what I wanted to talk to you about is um, the difference with, well, is this the little word, um, little three words that we often say to ourselves when it comes to setting a goal or setting a habit, deciding we want to do something, when we look at our to-do lists. And the three words we often have in mind in those situations are, I have to. So look at all the things I have to do. Um, or I have to get some more sleep, or I have to lose some weight, or I have to get to grips with email, I have to regain control over my email, um, I have to break my screen addiction, I have to give up sugar, I you know, have to give up caffeine. There's a lot of have to's there. And the, the word I have, the words I have to, tend to signal um, to us, kind of, it's like a rallying cry, it's like, I have to do something about this, which can be a good thing because sometimes we need that impetus to go, right, I am doing something about this, I need to do it, I, I just need to get on with it, which can be useful. But sometimes I have to also give us a sense of obligation, a sense of burden. It takes effort. It's like, it's like when we tell our kids, you have to eat that you know, piece of broccoli or whatever before you go and have your pudding. You have to finish your dinner before you have your pudding. You know, it's that sort of thing. It's like, I have to earn some money before I can go treat myself to a pair of shoes or whatever it is for you. So it's just, it's, there's a sense of effort and, you know, a sense of push as an effort. You know, that energy is like, I have to push myself to do it. Now, if you have been, if you've read my books, if you've been following me for a while, you might be familiar with a little, um, word trick um, or a little word play that I often suggested and that is to change from I have to to I get to because that's when we start to um, look for the opportunity rather than the obligation. But today I want to play slightly differently with those words and almost take it a step back and shrink it down from I have to to I have because actually when we move just take away the two and get to I have it starts to put us in a place of having to notice, what do I have right now? So it might be good, it might be bad. It's not, it's actually not about good or bad. It's just, what do I have? So for example, we can use that to review what's past. So what do I have as a result of the past 17 days? Um, you know, I can use that to think about what I have done, what I have achieved what I have learned, what I have noticed. Um, so for me, um, over the past 17 days, I have achieved, well, over the past week, I've achieved on average eight hours sleep. Um, and over the week before, I achieved an average of eight hours sleep a day. Over the past week, the number of days when I've hit that eight hours has gone up as well. So there's been less up and down. It's been a little bit more consistent over the past week. I've noticed and learned a whole bunch of stuff about myself, um, you know, some interesting observations about the way my brain works and the way my body works. Um, I can also look at it and go, hey, actually, I have, I have sustained 17 days of consistently and consciously being aware of my bedtimes. I have adjusted my bedtimes. I have started to go to bed earlier and it's starting to feel more normal to be in bed earlier. Um, so you can use it to review what you have done, but also what you've noticed and what you've received as a result. And what I have does, the words I have, is it puts us in a place of thankfulness, puts in a place of gratitude and of acknowledgement of going, okay, this is what I do have. This is what I have as a result of what's gone past. And then I can start looking at what do I have right now? So right now, I have we have the opportunity to decide what we do for the next 23 days. Right now, we have a choice. You know, we get to choose um, 
Yeah, so you could even start to go, okay, I have a 17 day streak. I have the opportunity to extend that if I choose to, if I want to. Um, you could look at the week ahead, go, okay, right now, here are the opportunities I have um, to, you know, get to, to dive into and to um, get my teeth um, stuck into, to sink my teeth into. You could look at the things that you're looking forward to this week. Um, and you know, and realize, okay, that's what I have. I have these opportunities. I have these things I'm looking forward to. I have these things in the diary already that I'm enjoying and I'm going to enjoy. Um, I already, I, I can also talk about the um, the things that it took. So, for example, if it's been a really hard week and you've struggled and you've wrestled and you've overcome, you've survived you know, a hard week, you can talk about the strength that you have the courage that you have, the determination that you have, um, the habit that you've cultivated or established. Um, so what have you established? What have you cultivated? What um, in you have you noticed about yourself? And then looking ahead, what do you have ahead of you? So what choices or opportunities do you have ahead of you? Um, what journey do you have ahead of you? And it's a really simple thing, just starting to think, I have. Um, might seem really obvious, but I'd really encourage you to maybe just get a piece of paper out and put I have at the top of it. And then just list all the things that you have, however big or small, however you know, silly or profound. Um, when I did that th this, this morning, I made a mental list as I was walking back from school. You know, one of the things I realised I have is I have a pack of duck eggs because I went to the co-op to get some eggs and the only thing they had left was duck eggs. So I now have a pack of duck eggs. It's like, okay, that's great. Um, so what do you have already? And the thing is, when we start to look at what we have already achieved and what we already have, it puts us in a place, rather than thinking I need to, or I've got to, or I don't have yet, or you know, instead of having a place where we're trying to grab for stuff and go, I don't know if I have what it takes. It's about getting ourselves into a position where we start to open up our hands and go, okay, this is what I have. You know, however silly or not, or you know, however powerful or not, whether I think it's a good thing or not, whatever it is, like this is what I have right now. And then we can start to think, what do I want to do with it? Because as soon as we start thinking about what we have, we can start thinking about what do we want to do with it. As soon as I start thinking about the six duck eggs I have, my mind starts thinking, okay, what do I want to make with those duck eggs? Um, you know, if you think about the habit you've cultivated or established already, what do you want to do with that? Um, if you think about the opportunities or the resources you have right now, what do you want to do with it? You see, I think it's a bit of a fallacy as human beings that we think we have to push ourselves to do stuff, that we have to make ourselves work. Because actually, as human beings, I think we are wired to want to make things happen, to want to do things, to want to work, to want to you know, take what we have and make something better, more beautiful, more interesting, or you know, to do something with it. I think that's part of how we're wired as human beings. We don't have to push ourselves to do stuff. We don't have to make ourselves do things. We just need to allow ourselves the space and the opportunity to go, okay, what do I have right now? What do I have in my hand and what do I want to do with it? If you give a child, I don't know, anything, a piece of blue tack, a cardboard box, yeah, they'll go, oh, what do I want to do with this? Because what they do first is go, look at this thing I have. Look at this big box I've got. Ah, what could I make out of it? And I think that's our natural way as human beings. That's naturally how we're wired is we want to take what we have and do something with it. But sometimes we forget about that because sometimes we don't notice what we have. Sometimes what we do is we, we think ahead to what we don't have and what we need and what we need to get hold of and we forget what we do have. And so we think the only way to achieve anything is to think of all the things we don't have and that we need to push for. But I think you know maybe we're missing a trick there. Maybe actually, if we start looking at all the things we do have, we'll naturally want to do something with that. So to bring that, that back to your 40 days of habit, what have you created already with the first 17 days of this, this um, experiment, this journey? What do you have right now? What do you have already from those 17 days? What do you have right now? 
and what do you have ahead of you as an opportunity, um, as you know, something to play with, and what do you want to do with that? Leave me a comment, let me know, and let's continue the conversation.